Hello everyone, this is Jeb with Boots and Boards with Mickey and Jeb. I have started up Wrath of a Shardalon. Well, this video is the start of Wrath of a Shardalon. So, like I did with Castle Ravenloft, I'm going to play through Wrath of a Shardalon. All the levels, by myself. Uh, this time I think I might switch heroes between scenarios, just so we can see more of them. I know last time I stuck to just a couple of heroes, and then there was one adventure that had multiple heroes, so we got to see it then, but I think this time I'm going to switch them up more so we can see more of the more of the stuff. I think I've learned from a lot of mistakes from when I was playing through Ravenloft, so I'm going to try not to make as many in this playthrough as I did last time. So I guess I will begin the uh, the adventure. So before I start, I am going to do the booze portion, like I always do. Uh, this time I've got a Heffenweiss beer. I, I, I can't even pronounce the name. Uh I don't know. It, I saw it, and it looked, it looked good, so I figured I'd try it. So I bought, uh, what was it? I think a six-pack of it, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to be drinking it. For the adventure, I... I'm starting with Vistra, the Dwarf Fighter, because I randomly selected, like I always do, to start this, and it just so happened I got the Dwarf Fighter. So, in this one, in this first adventure, it's just a single hero, and the item I got is the Tome of Experience. So it says, use this while your hero is level 1, your hero become, becomes level 2. So that's actually a really good card to have. I guess to start, but since this is the first level, I don't. <laughs> I kind of almost wish I got this later in the game, later in the the adventures. All right, I will start with Adventure One: A Day in the Life of a Hero. While chasing monsters through the wilderness around Firestorm Peak, you fall through a hole in the caverns below. Can you survive long enough to find another way out? So my goal is to explore the dungeon reach the tunnel exit and escape before the monsters destroy me. So there is a tunnel exit somewhere in the, the tile stack. It's like the sixth one down, I think. And there is going to be a dragon, a cobalt dragon lord that I have to, to kill, I believe, to, to win. So, when I start the adventure, the monsters raiding the village of Longbridge have led you on a long chase. Just as you are about to catch up with the last of them, the ground beneath you breaks away and you plunge into a deep hole. You have fallen into the dungeon beneath Firestorm Peak. Can you survive long enough to find a way out of the dark and twisting tunnels? Alright, so I will begin. Alright, so I'm not going to go through a ton of explanation as I'm going through this because if you haven't seen the game played before, I recommend going to my wrath my Ravenloft uh, videos and start with Adventure 1 so you can get an idea of how things are working. So I will begin, I'll just start start the adventure. So for my hero phase, I there's nothing to attack so I'm just, I, I don't think I'm even going to move. My power is when you get a, or I get a plus 5 bonus to rolls uh, to end poison condition so I'm not even not even, nothing I can do really, so I'm gonna just, I'll move one space. So I'll move, and at the end of my hero phase, I am going to explore. Right? Yeah, explore. So I draw the top tile of the dungeon stack, and I will put it there. And that spawns a monster, which is the Orc Archer. So he is going to appear there. And now it is going to be the villain phase. So, oh, actually, yeah, at the beginning of the villain phase is when I draw the encounter card because it is a black triangle. It's a curse, terrifying roar. The distant sound of a roaring dragon fills you with fear, causing you, uncontrol causing you to uncontrollably shake. You are cursed. Place this card on your hero card as a reminder. You take a minus four penalty to attack rolls while this curse is active. Ugh. Roll a die at the end of your hero phase, plus, or ten plus, discard this card. Alright, so I am cursed right now, and the only way to get rid of it is to roll 
at the end of my hero phase, which I can't, I'm not even in yet, or I've, I've ended that, so it's going to be the archer. He is going to activate. He's not adjacent to me. He is within two tiles, so he's going to attack me with an arrow. So the arrow is a plus six, and it's a two for if it hits, and one if it misses. Ooh, 16 and 6 is 22. That is going to do 2 damage to me. So I lose those 2. Ah, so this curse is going to hurt a bunch. So I think what I'm going to do is go 1, 2, and then I am going to attack him with Sure Strike. It's a plus 11 modifier, and we'll do 1 damage. And since I'm cursed, it's a minus four, so the total modifier is a plus seven. So let's see what I roll on that. Nineteen. So nineteen and seven is enough to hit him for one damage, and that kills him. And I get a treasure card. Item, Wanda Polymorph. Use instead of an attack, choose a monster within two tiles of you, draw a monster card, and replace the original monster. Oh, cool. That's pretty interesting, so I can, like, change a monster into another monster. So, alright, I am going to let's move this up so everybody can see. And then, it is now the exploration phase. I'm on the edge of the tile, so I will draw. And it's a white triangle, so no encounter card. But the monster is going to be an orc smasher. Alright, lots of orcs in this dungeon. If he is within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent... Oh, uh, before I do that, I'm supposed to test at the end of my hero phase to get rid of the, the curse. I'm glad I remember that. <laughs> I got a 13, so since it's higher than a 10, the curse goes away. And then, now let's get back to the orc. If he's within one tile, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with a heavy mace. So, the big dogs are fighting. Plus nine, one damage. All right. Ooh, so that's going to hit, so I take a damage. All right. It is now my go. So I am going to... He's got two life. All right, so I guess I'm just going to sure strike him. That rolled off the board, and it was a 2, so uh, 2 and 11 is 13. His armor is a 15, so that's bad. So I'm going to go, see, my move speed is 5, so I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want to run up here just to, to make him work at attacking me. So I will now explore. And it's another white triangle, so that's good for me. And the monster is going to be a snake. So, uh, one thing I haven't painted these, I actually just bought Wrath of a Shardlon, I think, when I was on Adventure 11 or something. So, <laughs> this is like on the bottom of my list to paint. So, alright. Uh, so, monsters activate the Orc Smasher. He's within one tile, he is not, he is within two. Uh, otherwise, he just moves one tile, so he's going to move one over here. And then the snake, if it's within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent and attacks with a venomous bite. It's a plus seven. Oh, critical fail, so one and seven is an eight, and that's going to miss me. My armor is a seventeen. So, I am not poison, which is really good, because poison... Well, actually, poison isn't too bad against me because of my ability, but still. I'd rather not be poison. So, my turn. I am going to attack the snake with Sure Strike. And I got a 20. And I don't have enough experience to level up, but it will kill the snake. So, now I'm two experience, and the treasure I get is a magic sword. Item, plus one magic sword. Play this item immediately. 
Uh, you gain a plus one bonus to attack rolls against adjacent monsters while this item is in play. Nice. Some good items so far. And, hmm. I guess... I, I guess I should just use it before I lose it. Uh, the Tome of Experience. I'm, I'm level one. I'll use it so I go up to level two. So I didn't need to do anything else for that. I didn't have to spend experience, so I'm now level 2, and I gain 2 HP from that. Alright. And so the f I attacked, and now I'll move, so 1, 2, 3. And it is a black triangle. And the monster is a cave bear. Wow, a bear. Alright. Yeah, I, I've never played a Shardalon before, so all of this stuff is new to me. Uh, I, I mean, I saw the bear when I pulled out the figures, but, you know, I'm fighting a bear now. Alright, so if it is... Uh, first, the Orc Smasher activates. He's just going to move one tile closer. The bear... The bear is on the same tile as a hero. It attacks... Nope. If the cave bear is within one tile, it moves adjacent and strikes. So he's going to go here, here, and he's going to strike me. Plus eight, five, and eight is going to be thirteen. So that's going to be a miss. So I dodge that bullet. All right. So it's back to me. So the first thing is here. I guess I am just going to sure strike the bear. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll sure strike the bear. Ooh, three and eleven. Luckily, his armor is a fourteen, so that's going to hit him for one. And I'm going to move away. One, two, three, four. And draw a dungeon tile. Alright, the monster coming out is another Orc Smasher. This isn't good, everybody's got 2 HP. Actually, no, it can't be an Orc Smasher. I believe the rule's the same, where I can't have the same monster twice for the same hero, so it's going to be a snake coming out. So, Orc Smasher moves one. Cave Bear comes in adjacent and attacks. Ooh, 11 and 8 is 19. My armor is an 18. Mm. So I guess I'm taking 2 damage and I am dazed. So dazed is a new, a new thing, a condition for this game. You can only move or attack, not both. Discard this marker at the end of your hero phase. And then the snake's going to come in, and it's going to attack. 19, so I am poisoned as well. And I'm assuming they stack because they don't really do much to, uh, much difference. So that one is, I take one damage at the start of your hero phase. Discard this marker at the end of your hero phase if you roll a 10 plus. Okay, so at the beginning of my hero phase, I take a damage because of my poison. Uh... That cave bear is nasty. I think I kind of want to kill him, so I'm going to sure strike him again. Oh, and I can't move, but that's fine because I'm actually on an unexplored edge. I got an 11. I completely think I screwed up because there was an encounter card that was supposed to happen with the bear. I just realized that, so uh, I'll finish the attack. It was an 11. So the bear would die, and I'll draw a treasure, plus two magic sword, you gain plus two, uh, bonus to attack rolls against adjacent, so I'm really good against adjacent. Alright, encounter, curse, bloodlust, you are cursed, place this card, at the start of your hero phase, you take one damage, ooh. Alright, so if I had gotten that when the bear came out, he would have attacked, I moved, so I took a damage from that movement over here. And what is this at the start? 
So I started again, so I would take another damage, and then I just killed the bear, so I can discard the curse now. So uh, I think I played it correctly. Now they're at least fixed, fixed where I, my mistake. So I'm going to use my daily power, Dorf, Dorvin Resilience. Uh, I just use this power during your hero and hero phase instead of moving. I wonder if I can even use that. Hmm. I'm going to say since I can't move, I can't use it. It was going to regain me four hit points, but it won't. So, because I can't move, because I'm dazed, because I attacked. So, lots of stuff going on. Uh, at the end of my hero phase, daze goes away, and I get to roll for the poison. I got a five. My ability adds five to the roll, and I need a ten plus, so that will get rid of my poison. So. Conditions are gone. Cave Bear is dead. Uh, what's going to happen? Oh, exploring. So, I explore. And the monster that comes out. Oh, really? Another Cave Bear. Alright, so the monsters are all around me. I'm in trouble. So, the orc is going to come in and attack. Plus 9, 3 and 9 is 12, so it's a miss. The snake is going to attack. 16 and 7 is enough to poison me. And then the bear is going to come in adjacent and attack. It got an 11, and 8 is 2 damage and dazed. So, I keep the conditions when I'm dead, unfortunately. So, at the beginning of my turn, Healing Surge is going to bring me back, and I get back 5 HP. And this I don't know, because Poison is at the start of your hero phase, so I guess it all... The, the healing surge is at the start of the hero phase, the poison's at the start of the hero phase. Uh, let me look in the rules really quick. Okay, so yeah, I looked in the book and poison happens at the beginning of your turn. And, well, no, I guess it's at the start of your hero phase, so my turn begins, I come back, and then I take the damage from the poison. So I guess that cleared that up. Alright, so I need to start doing stuff, because I'm in trouble. So I'm going to attack the snake. Is that right here? Should I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm dazed. So all I can do is attack or move. And I think I might want to move. And I guess that doesn't stop me from double moving. It just says I can't do both. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wouldn't get me there, so I guess I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I will explore over here. And it's the tunnel exit. Alright. So, adventure book time. Ahead you see light streaming in from above, illuminating a flight of ancient stone steps. You found a way out of the dungeon. Unfortunately, the path is guarded by one more monster, the Cobalt Dragon Lord Mirak. So he is here. I guess he spawns right in front of me. And I, once again, forgot to check or yeah, check for the poison. So the days goes away, because I did that. Poison. Ooh. Two and seven, it does not go away. 2 and 5 makes 7. doesn't go away. Uh, it's a black triangle, so the encounter card. Curse. You are cursed. Place this card on your hero card. Paralyzing fear overcomes you. Whenever you move to a new tile, take 1 damage. Roll a die at the end of your hero phase. Plus 10. Or 10 plus, discard this card. Alright, so I'm cursed. That's not good. Alright, and... Poison stay, so now it is monsters activating. So what does the Dragon Lord do? If he is adjacent to a hero, which he is, it attacks that hero with a short sword, and then the kobold moves to any square within one tile. So 
doesn't attack me. 14 and 8 is going to do 2 damage to me. Uh, what is my goal? I think I gotta kill him, right? Because he's trying to run away. Something like that. Doesn't make sense. I thought he'd, he'd want to kill me. You win the game when your hero defeats the Cobalt Dragon Lord and escapes. Alright, so he attacked. Uh, Orc Smasher. Oh, he's supposed to move one, to any square within one tile. I'm just going to put him adjacent to me. That's one tile. He'll, he's not running too fast. Alright, Orc Smasher. He moves. Be snake. It moves one. And the cave bear moves one. So all the monsters are right there. Did I kill the snake? I don't think so. Yeah, because I just ran away. Alright. So he has six HP. I wish I had some kind of area attack. So, I guess I'm going to use Into the Fray. I'm not going to move. Well, okay, so I'm not going to move, so instead of moving, I am... Did I take my poison? No, i got to take the poison. Alright, instead of moving, I'm going to regain four hit points using my ability, so that means I can't move. And then I am going to use Into the Fray. Place your hero adjacent to any hero within two tiles of you. Attack one adjacent monster. So I'm assuming that first part isn't applied because I'm the only hero. So I'm going to attack him. I got a two. A two and a seven is a nine. And since he's adjacent, I get three more. So twelve. <sighs> What's his defense? He's a seventeen. Holy crap. So it misses and does one damage to him. How am I supposed to kill this guy at 17? Wow. Alright, so this goes away. And now it is poison check time. 12. That is gone. And he is going to oh, roll a die at the end of your hero phase for this dragon fear. I got a 10, so that goes away. And now he attacks. If he is adjacent, it attacks the hero with a short sword. 7 and 8 is 15, not enough to hit. And now he's going to move one away, one tile away. Now Orc Smasher will come in and attack me. 16, so that's going to be a damage to me. The snake will come in. 9 and 7 is 16, not enough to poison me. And then the cave bear is going to block me in. Hit the camera. He got a 10 and an 8. 18, my armor is an 18, so that's going to hit me. So, 2 and dazed. Alright, so things are looking bad for Jeb. Because there are a ton of monsters around me, I'm dazed, so I can only do one thing. And he's running away for now. So, since I'm dazed, I can only do one thing, and I think I'm going to attack. So I am going to use Sure Strike and attack the, the snake. 16, so the snake dies. Oh, I think I was supposed to... Wait, no, I did that moved. I didn't. So, I would have gotten an encounter card. Uh, it's a curse, so I'm just going to assume that... Oh, no, I didn't have enough experience at that point, so I gotta take this. Uh, you were cursed. Man, I thought I shuffled it better. The end of your exploration phase, find the monster closest to your hero that is not on your hero's tile. Place that monster adjacent to your hero. Uh, I don't think that would have change too much because they all came in and attacked me <laughs> so so I will at the end of your exploration phase okay so I killed the snake I got a man first video and I'm losing track of stuff already boots of striding played immediately plus one to speed all right so I, I'm a little faster so I can go I don't want to do this I don't want to bring out more monsters 
I'm dazed, I can't even move, so I am going to end my hero phase uh, at the end of my exploration, so exploration isn't happening, so I get to roll. I got a 10, so the curse goes away. Then it is the enemy's turn. Oh, nope. Uh, encounter. Because I didn't go anywhere. Environment. High alert. At the end of each villain phase, the active hero passes one monster card to the player on the right. I will let that go because I'm the only player. Alright, so the Dragon Lord. He's within one tile. It moves adjacent and attacks with the short sword. So he's just hopping back and forth, apparently. So he attacks... 19, ouch, he kills me. So I'm dead again. And those guys aren't going to do anything because I'm dead. So Healing Surge brings me back. And things are looking pretty bad now because I don't have any more Healing Surges. I've got five life left. And my powers are not that great. I went with the standard ones that they said in the beginning of the adventure book. I don't think I want to stick with that. So, I am stuck here. Hmm, I think maybe I'm going to Wand of Polymorph this time, and instead of attack, I can choose a monster within two tiles of me and draw a new monster. So I'm going to replace the bear, because he is dazing me too much. Alright, so he is replaced with a Duergar guard. Oh, where's his little top? His thing's here. Alright, so he's got 2 HP. Great. <sighs> At least he doesn't daze me. So, alright, I can't move. So now Dragon Lord attacks me. <sighs> 20. Come on, why are they rolling so great? And he hops away. Then the Orc Smasher attacks me. Another 20. I take a damage. The guard attacks me. Yep. What does the guard do? He is adjacent. He attacks with the Warhammer. Okay, he does attack. 14. That's 22. That hits me for 1. I'm down to 1 HP. I think I've lost. So, I am going to, at the beginning of my turn, use charge. I can move my speed, then attack one adjacent monster. So let's go 1, 2... One, two, three, four, five, six, and attack the Orc Smasher with eight modifiers. Seven and eight is fifteen, but I got plus three with my swords, so that is. Uh, I completely blinked on that. Seven and eight is fifteen, plus three is eighteen, so that's enough to do a damage to him. So he's down to four life. And that's the end of my hero phase, so encounter card, because I didn't explore. Whenever the hero ends his or her hero phase adjacent to a wall, they take a damage. So i got to keep that in mind now. And then the dragon lord's going to attack. 9 and 8 is 17, it's a miss. The smasher is going to come in and attack. 18, that is a kill, and I lose the first adventure. Such a great way to start a shard alarm, huh? So, as always, I will play this again, and when I get to a point where I, I know uh, I can finish it, I will start recording it again, which is probably going to be when he comes back up. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. Sorry, I, I'm such a crappy roller for my guys and such a great roller for their for the enemy. It seems to make this a one-sided battle because I killed myself. But I am playing alone, so... <laughs> Alright, so thank you for watching. Leave any comments if you have any. And don't forget to vote for games. Uh, we're going to be doing our next episode soon. And we're getting closer to the fan pick episode, so let us know. I want to remind you guys every time. So, alright. Thanks for watching.